Hello traders, FX Pepcolenti here. Today is Thursday, April 27th, and we're going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my new trading course available to all gold Patreon members. The link to find out more information about that is up here in the corner. So on the Aussie dollar monthly, I still think this is going to make a higher low. I think that we're going to end up going up to make a wave C, most likely taking out the higher wave 4. I do believe that this is probably going to all end up being one big WXY pattern, like a triple 3 pattern. Three waves up for the W, three waves down for the X, and three waves up for the Y. Once that's complete, it may even end up continuing the downtrend. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, it does look like we probably haven't finished this wave B. I was thinking originally that the wave B was over, but now I see that it is trying to make three waves down. So once it finishes that, I do believe that's when we're going to go up and make that bigger wave C, just like what I was showing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down even more to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I guess that this is definitely a downtrend for the A. This is probably an A, and then three ways down for the B, and then an uptrend for the C. A, B, C, or B. Now I think we're going down for a 1, 2, 3, which is probably not even over. Eventually it's going to make a 4 and a 5 of wave C. Before it goes up, takes out structure, it ends that A, B, C, or B, and ends up going up to make the wave C. Just like what I was showing on the weekly and monthly time frames. So, keeping that in mind, let's take it down to the 4 hour. On the 4 hour time frame, I believe we're in a wave 3 and it may not even be over. It looks like a 1, looks like 3 waves up for the 2, and this is all a series of lower lows, lower highs. So far, all part of a wave 3. Like I said, I don't really think this wave 3 is over, so if I see some sort of an impulsive move down, I would definitely take that as a sorting opportunity. I, like, I believe we're still in a wave 3 of wave C, which this wave C should be a wave C of wave B. So let's keep going down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, I definitely do see a three way pattern up already. So I think there's a chance that we may have already ended a crutch in. I don't think the downtrend is over based on the longer time frames. So that tells me three ways up and pulse up down is an entry to go sort for me when I the higher time frames tell me that the trend is down. That's exactly what I'm looking for for an entry to go sort for the continuation of the downtrend. Like I said, I believe we're still in a wave three of wave C and I think this wave C is a wave C of wave B. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.